This time on One Foot Flipper, I make a dip to the count. Stay tuned. One Foot Flipper. Hi, Paige here, the One Foot Flipper. How's everybody doing? I'm okay. I'm getting used to walking again, getting better at my endurance, although it's still nowhere where it needs to be. Uh, but that's okay. That's, that is progressing greatly. This is not going to be one of those videos where I'm going to tease out the topic for 18 minutes and then talk about it at the end. I'll get right on at the beginning. Kevin, Commonwealth Picker, uh, decided out of the goodness of his own heart, I didn't ask him to, as far as I know, nobody else did either, to do an auction for me on Dibdit of all three varieties of Enaman, including one of the original Fleet ones, uh, to go towards my leg fund. And I cannot thank Kevin enough for that. There will be a link down there and me to also try to reach out a little bit back. I made a Dibdit account, and although I've always said I don't like cross-listing, I'm going to go ahead and try it for a while. Once my uh, once my bank, all my bank details clear, I'm going to go ahead and put up 100 listings on Dibdit and see how that works out for me. And I know eventually I'm going to want to do some live auctions when I liquidate the remainder of my card store. And when I decide to get rid of the rest of my comic books, I'm going to want to do some live auctions. So having a dividend account might be useful for that. So there. I can change myself and maybe you can change too. All right, let's uh, look at a few sales. Hey, let's sell some stuff. I sold a lot of one, two, three anime looking Force of Will deck boxes. For $7.19, I have a total of five messages from the buyer. Will they return them? Let's see. I did not block them because of the relatively low value of the transaction. I'm going to have to put it up on the screen because it's pre-packed. But I sold a Pokemon Sword and Shield Lenticular Lugia poster. That means it looks different. It's made out of plastic and it has different pictures on it depending on how you look at it. This sold for $68.09. I have one of these left. Out of my original stock of I think I had three or four of them. I sold a Death Pile Monster to viewer Paul. Paul says, thanks Paige. Glad, glad to see you'll be able to get out picking again this season. And in case you're wondering who's this merch is going to. This is Paul's merch. Mary Englebright mug, letter A, $9.31. This used to be my wife's because her name is Amanda. Citadel combat cards in a wolf deck box. These have various Warhammer things and pictures on them they don't make these anymore or if they do they look completely different because they're for the newer rules of the game i think i started these at 15 or 20 and they took a while to sell that's but that's my entire category of the vintage gaming stuff most of it takes a while to sell because you've got to find that specific person who wants that obscure item roger miller golden hits in partial shrink wrap seven dollars 21 cents Another death, death pile monster to uh, to viewer flipping particles. No message. Thank you so much. Now, normally, when you buy a worthless beanie baby from somebody, all you get is the worthless beanie baby. But when you buy a worthless beanie baby from me, you also get the matching worthless trading card. How about that? Three dollars ninety eight cents. Bang. That's a maybe. Fisher Price dump truck. Twilight lunchbox. I better throw that back. See, he's got all the good stuff there. Yeah. <laughs> all in one bin. All out of one bin. Yeah, let's take a look at this. I'm sure you got here before me anyway, so I never had a chance at it. Got the front end of them buried in there too, so. Oh, nice. Yep, yep. So you should be 
pretty semi complete. Guess you're an eBay seller too? Somebody uh, somebody threw me the, the top mount too. I'll have to see if I can straighten it out. But the top part of the ladder, you know, mm -hmm. they, that wasn't another bend. So you just never know. You I never used know. to try to get here when it opened, when I would come, but it, it wasn't worth it because by the time I made it inside and got rid of my wheelchair, because I can walk for some periods of time and got a cart, everything on top like that was already gone anyway. Oh, yeah. So now I just come in 20 minutes. I was shocked Ooh. I even found it. I was like, <laughs> how did nobody see it? You know, I was carrying an IKEA bag, mm -hmm. is what I had originally, and I'm like, where am I? I gotta go run up and grab a cart now. So. This here is a J Ride item. Hot comb, I think. I have no idea what this is. But I'll look it up. Wooden poker chip set. That's a maybe. Oh, there's a bunch of them down in the bin. Personal use. Perfect scale for miniatures games. What is it? It, what is it? Does it have a specific name? Uh, no, it was just, what would you say, 90s, 80s? It was a craft that all the women made and they Oh, okay. It in the corner. Yeah. So it looked like there was a little print in the corner. Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, will you pass her to me if you're not going to take her? Okay. I'm going to look up kid in the corner and see whether or not oh, yeah. anybody buys, wants to buy her. Yeah, maybe. So might, yeah. <laughs> this is an Otterbox. Apparently selling an Otterbox can ruin your eBay account, so well, thank you. Thermos, red aluminum, not bad. With a matching one, <laughs> makes it better. Classic Stanley with some customization. Give that a shot. So my lovely wife knew I was about to film when she came down here and turned on the washing machine anyway. So let's just get through it quickly because I'm sure you can hear the washing machine. Sold a Bachman train bridge for $29.69. What else? Sold a Medicus swing trainer. Oh, any of these clubs that do this, just buy those clubs. $27.81. Not too bad. Sold four marquee slash translites for golf, different golf arcade games, three versions of Golden Tee, and one the Irem's Skins game. I got twenty-one fifty for those. The marquees or, or name titles off of golf games tend to be the least valuable ones because golf games were often updated annually, much like uh, everybody did with their Madden for their home consoles. And everybody always wanted the latest version, even though the latest version was essentially identical to the version before it. I sold two different porcelain dolls, same buyer, about $20. I am almost out of porcelain dolls. I would say I'd never get one again, but they always fall into my lap whether I want them or not. Sold some Warhammer guys. This is a Rogue Trader Legion of the Damned with Missile Launcher. $30 plus shipping. You never quite get everything stacked up the right way to do the right order. Super Tramp. Even in those quietest moments, someone will still pay $5.65 for this record. I'm having to skip by some cards here because this account has some cards on it now. Because I had cards that are stuck listing and my real card account is still over full so I can't list them there. Gypsy CD eleven ninety nine bargain hunter board game twelve dollars and seventy cents. This is from the hundred dollar board game buy that I believe is about five x itself already. <clears throat> K 
Teddy Ruxpin figure, $3.48. Had a bunch of different Teddy Ruxpin figures. I got like six or seven for all the other ones. This one rode down to $3.48. No idea why. I guess the only human looking guy is just not as fun. Sold a lot of floor play mats for the Force of Will game. They've all got nice artwork on it. Force of Will uses two different styles of art. One is fairy tale and the other is more of an anime style. Both both cases are very, very nice looking though. Twenty dollars eight cents for the lot. Sold a 2009 Oscars program, fifteen dollars ninety three cents, and I sold three deck boxes branded for the Force of Will card game, seven dollars seventy five cents. That's all for tonight. All right, everybody. Overall, my finds were pretty boring. You may never see most of it, but one find, excellent. This is a leading edge Model D from 1985. It's an IBM 8086 clone PC. This would have been a hundred bucks at Ben's prices, but I talked to one of the employees and they marked it as furniture because of because of the weight. So I got it for ten dollars instead of a hundred. And I've been wanting an 8086 for years. No idea if anything's going to work on it, but I'll find that out in the future. No. I sold two Ranch Romance magazines. About five bucks each. They bought them in separate transactions for some reason. I was really excited to find that computer. I haven't tried to set any of it up yet. I actually might need to patch or replace the monitor cable on it because it appears to be damaged. It looks like it was screwed in and then physically yanked apart from the computer by force and it's missing a pin i don't know if it's supposed to be missing a pin or not or if that you know is a blank section i haven't looked at the uh, pin out for it but i am going to need a keyboard i i could not find the keyboard for the, the computer at at the goodwill bins and i would like to use a period correct one not a modern one adapter so if anybody in their death pile somewhere has an old clicky keyboard it has the big round keyboard connector on it. The one that, the connector that's the size of, of a nickel, not the connector that's the size of a pencil. I could really use that to help help complete this thing. All right, that's all I've got for today. If you know anybody else who has one leg as a weirdo or likes really old computers, why don't you tell them about this channel? I could use the subscribers. See, that's, that's one foot flippers nonsense video. But Oops, I dipped it again, playing with my heart, lost in the game, baby, baby, oops, I dipped it again.